I interviewed some of you and I photographed some of you. It's not just any other library day for these kids at Wilson Elementary in Oklahoma City. It's 288 pages long. Photographer MJ Alexander was here in the fall to take a few pictures for a book she was working on about Oklahoma kids. Okay. Okay, who's this? Are you ready? <laughs> it's like she's smelling up into the wind. Well, the book is finished, so instead of checking out pictures of people they'd never heard of, these kids got to see themselves. They're very media savvy, and I think some of the kids at Wilson, like Anthony, is like, well, how do you make a book? I think he was going to go home and whip one out yeah. this weekend. So these are the people who make it the, a great state. Three years ago, we profiled Alexander about another Oklahoma project at the other end of life spectrum. She spent a lot of time searching out Oklahoma's oldest citizens for a book called Salt of the Red Earth. This time, she went from the winter of life to the spring with a just-released book called Portrait of a Generation, The Children of Oklahoma from birth to college of Oklahomans, rural Oklahomans, urban Oklahomans, Oklahomans who've been here for seven generations. The project started as a nomination process from a few organizations. Then she got help finding talented kids from the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence and the Quartz Mountain Art Institute. Some timely grants also allowed her time to explore Oklahoma and even to knock on a door in Shattuck for a sunset shot at the Windmill Museum. And found a family, told them what I was up to, and they said, sure, we'll go down there. So I took two brothers from Shattuck at the Windmill Museum. So sometimes it was arranged ahead of time and sometimes it was serendipity. Old and young in Oklahoma, you'd think they wouldn't share much of anything except the same address. But Alexander's responses from both were universally optimistic. The, the very youngest, the very oldest, it's just us in the middle who sometimes get sort of, <laughs> sort of get discouraged. The character of the portraits is different. The centenarian's photographs were all against a formless backdrop. The story of life written on faces. The new generation she placed in their own environment, in the world they will inherit from us, from one generation to the next. But I think this is a case of the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what?